If you only knew the power of the dark side, it is your destiny. Hello everyone, this is Take the Gate. It is September 7th, 2014. And I just wanted everybody to be aware of this and see it for themselves. This is from Miami Herald and it is titled from the Associated Press, Household Income Drops Here in Ohio. And it says that real median income homes and households, inflation adjusted income for households at the midpoint of income distribution for the United States and Ohio over the last five years was now available. And it goes from 08 to 2012 and it shows the breakdown so in 2008 United States median income for a household to parent family fifty three thousand six hundred and forty four dollars in 2012 fifty one thousand and seventeen dollars so there is a gap of about twenty five hundred dollars now Ohio that's across the United States. In Ohio, 2008, the median income was $50,051. In 2012, the median income to to parent household, $44,375. That is a staggering $6,000 deficit drop. So, what does is, what is poverty cause? I'll show you what poverty cause. Poverty causes people like this woman here who was injured after a rock was thrown off of I-80 and this woman is recovering right now her name is Sharon Budd and she was hit by a rock thrown from Interstate 80's overpass and underwent eight hours of surgery she was on a vacation driving with her husband Randy here it's pictured and some bored teenagers whose families did not have possible income here through a rock over the overpass in Pennsylvania and it smashed through the windshield hitting her in the face and they had to cut part of her brain out. Dr. Tom Sakar, a neurosurgeon, concurred with Bud's assessment of the surgery in which a permanent plastic cover was installed to replace part of Sharon Bud's skull which was removed from doctors due to swelling of her brain. During the surgery, her right eye, in which she lost sight, was removed, her eye socket was rebuilt, as well as the bridge of her nose. Bud said Thursday, major operations are over, but additional procedures are planned on her face, he said. And this woman was a teacher. How was she supposed to go back to teaching after having something like this, such such catastrophic injury to her face? It says here that the teens who are responsible are now awaiting trial. Charged are brothers Brett and Dylan Lahr, Kiefer Lance McGee, and Tyler G. Porter, 17. And I haven't followed this case, but I'm assuming that someone most likely will be. And I have not seen any pictures of them. And I doubt I will see pictures of them. But I will leave a link in a description in the comments below. And I just think that this needs further scrutiny. But. Tonight, we begin in Union County. Authorities today filed more serious charges against a teen in a case that has drawn national attention. Police believe the 17 year old was part of a group that lobbed a rock off of an overpass and onto a vehicle on Interstate 80. A woman from Ohio was badly hurt. Newswatch 16 Suzanne Goldklang is live in our newsroom with encouraging news tonight about the woman's condition. Suzanne. Now, I don't think that Sophia, they the case care against very the much, teams goes as they claim. They are just sensationalizing the, the problems associated with the attack from the bridge. But I think that unless we fix that poverty problem, and unless we come to terms with what we expect parents and, and children to do and give them a purpose. Unless we stop robbing our 
taxpayers, this is going to continue to keep happening. This is Take the Gate. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Signing out.